And I'm not alone here, my friends. I do have several friends here, uh, co-hosts, judges, cosplay aficionados himself, Elodia, hello. Hi, hi, Slacks, love the energy. But before anything else, for you to participate here with us, you gotta wear a costume. Are you game with that? Yes, absolutely, please give me my sweet, stinky hoodwink. Hell yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, so hi guys, I'm Alodia from the Philippines. Today I am cosplaying as Pop, and I'm such a huge gamer. I love Dot, I've been cosplaying for the past 20 years, and I am truly honored to be here today with all of you amazing guys. So thank you so much, Valve and Dota, for this prestigious event. I'm so lucky to be here. Thank you for coming, and your puck looks amazing! Give it, give it up for the puck! Fantastic. We also have some uh, judges here as well. We have Tasha, of course, a fellow cosplayer. Fantastic. Thank you. And you will be judging. Uh, and then who do we have over here? Vera Chimera. There you go. Vera Chimera. Give it up for our uh, judges, please. There we go. All right, guys. We have got some fantastic cosplay. We are ready to go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. I've been ready. <laughs> I'm in the hoodwink. I'm set. All right. All right, game. Let's, yep. Okay. Well, we're going to start things off. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not avert your eyes from the disgusting but delicious Hattie Acker as the Weaver. Look at that. This cosplayer was able to successfully mimic Weaver's silhouette by crouching. He's able to hold this position and move around with the help of a trolley. All powered up with the help of lights, be careful when he casts Swarm. Fantastic. Coming up next uh, in the other competition, watch out the trees, comes Zainal Hazik as the Timber Sauce. So cool. This Timber Sauce armor and weapons are made out of rubber sheets to make him look structured. He incorporates lead lights to make his weapon glow. Make sure not to be in his line of sight when he casts Whirling Death. Fantastic. And coming up next, it is Fish Ice as the Hoodwink. Okay, I thought that, what? You're stealing my Hoodwink. Whoa, that is beautiful though. You win. <laughs> it's your twin. <laughs> so adorable. So you think Hoodwink's weapon is made out of wood, but it's actually made out of rubber sheets painted to make, to look like wood. So make sure to dodge his acorn shot. Oh my goodness, coming up next, it is some hot, hot stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Ryuki oh, as Lita. I remember her from the amazing. anime. That's amazing. So if you look closely, look at her heels. They are transparent to make her look like she's floating, which is similar to the game. So also held up by her wires, her skirt is actually there to keep it rigid. So watch out for her. Oh my, oh my. Coming up next, Artificer and Avion Tees present the Rubik Hall! Oh! Lifting him up and putting him down! Insane! This Rubik, if you look closely, his staff is powered up by fairy lights cleverly embedded within the crystals. It is also used rubber and used rubber and wood to craft the leaves. So, yep, no magic is definitely safe with this Grand Magus spell steal. Fantastic. And up next, we have Petik as that disgusting lifesteal. Ah, oh, it's hideous. Oh it's so real. Oh, my gosh. Look at his stance. It's pretty intense. His suit is actually made of silicone, so it's more flexible for more movement. So don't let your guards down when he casts Infest. Oh, Infest me any day, my friend. Coming up next, we got Shabbat as the Ember Spirit! Oh! This Ember Spirit's costume details are insane. The structure and shape are made out of rubber sheets, also using reflective and neon paint to make his weapons glow. Watch out when he does Fire Remnant. <laughs> okay, and next up is King K. Jace. Is that, is that really Lich? That's really Lich! Yeah. Nobody could be that tall! Oh my gosh, he's huge! If you guys the stadium he is two meters tall and if you look closely he's using two poles to control his arms and hands so be sure to disperse when he casts chain frost fantastic coming up next is mizuki otawa as you know it from your band list the oscar wild 
called. Huskar use a combination of silicone molded to look like muscles for more movement and rubber sheets for his weapon. His eyes are also glowing with the help of LED lights. Always be on guard when he leaps on you with Life Break. And last but not least, the librarian with the most. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Rukia as the Warlock. Amazing. Would you look at the Warlock's lamp? If you look closely, the mask and the lamp are all 3D printed to get that precise angles. All right. Before we give it up to our winners, please, can everyone give a round of applause to all the cosplayers here today? Absolutely fantastic work here. And we will begin. Now, our first category here is called Best Technique. Uh, what exactly does that mean? Uh, the Best Technique Award is for the cosplayer with the most clean and precise work. It should be designed to be easy moving and durable. That's right. It's all about the movement, the preciseness of the animations. Yeah, just like Hoodwink. That was perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for Best Technique, it's Artificer and Avion Tease as a robot! Yes, fantastic. So next up, we have Biggest Transformation. So this is the cosplayer with a demonstrably impressive costume that shows a marked transformation in the cosplayer's appearance and physique. All right, so Biggest Transformation Award goes to... The Biggest Transformation Award goes to Mizuko Dawa as a Husker! Transformative. All right, judge's choice. Now, can we talk a little bit about what a judge's choice is? Absolutely. Well, judge's choice, it's a mixture of both uh, portrayal and precision of the character. So we want to find a nice, healthy balance of all the little talents that we can find so this person can really up their cosplay career. All right, fantastic. Judge's choice. The winner is your boy, Hadi Acker at the win! Screw it! Oh, look how happy he is! Oh, that reminds me of when the support weaver was happy. Oh, uh, Carrie Weaver, very depressing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for best in show. The most coveted of them. The best overall, right? Are you ready? Ready? Are you ready? Oh, very. Yeah? All right, I'm ready. Okay. All right, best in show goes to the cosplayer who scored consistently in all areas and criteria, which is accuracy, craftsmanship, portrayal of presence, and creativity. Fantastic. And your winner for best in show of cosplay, TI-11, goes to Ember Spirit, the Shabazz, baby! There we go. The stance, the weapons, the flames, a Baby, there it is, absolutely gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our cosplayers! Fantastic. Elodia, what did you think of all the cosplayers here today? They were amazing, like we saw them also the other day. It's like, we, we were so excited to be here to see, to, for you guys to see them in person. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us, seeing all the creativity of the Dota 2 community. We got short films, we got cosplay, and we've got such more great Dota to see here today. But you don't want to go anywhere, because we got something I know you're going to want to see coming your way right now. 